We're going to cut to the chase right here, right now, Spidey Squad. Okay, sorry for this short introduction, everybody, but this just got real in regards to Spider-Man PS4. So, if you don't have a Twitter, if you haven't been on Twitter recently, or mainly if you haven't been following Ryan Panagos, also known as at Agent M, that is his Twitter handle, I will put the link in the description to his Twitter and this recent tweet that just happened a few hours ago. And this is, this is nuts, okay? So just bear with me. I know I seem ecstatic and I know I tend to overanalyze things, but remember, that is my job, everybody. You are all subscribed to me for hopefully one reason, is for Spider-Man PS4, or you're just an amazing individual and I love you for that. But mainly, it's to keep updated and analyze and speculate and just hype up this game. So, with all the previous videos I've made in regards to Spider-Man PS4 coming soon with news and showing more footage soon, I know that those have all been letdowns and I do apologize for that, but all the stuff at the time seemed like that was the case. But now, this is serious, okay? This is the real deal, I promise. And it's so weird, okay? So, going back to our dear friend Ryan Panagos, all the way back in December of 2016, he was on a video that you have all seen by now where him and the co-host, Lorene Sink, at Marvel's Thwip show that they do. It's not a Facebook live stream like you keep hearing. It's a like a little tiny show, fun entertainment segment that Marvel Entertainment does once every week or so, just for fun. And this one video, all the way back in December of 2016, in the beginning, at like the 1 minute 26 second mark, they were talking about Marvel games, like all the mobile games, like Spider-Man Unlimited, Avengers Academy, all that jazz. So, they were saying, to continue that from the game's standpoint, to continue on Marvel games expanding their horizons on consoles. Like, the statement that we've all heard by now is where Ryan Panagos said, to quote him, and there's even more on the horizon for 2017, like Spider-Man coming to the PlayStation 4, and... Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite coming to Xbox One, Windows 10, Windows PC, and PS4, stuff like that. So, that's what he did, okay? We all know that. Yes, that news is four months old. We've established that. Everyone's saying, though, that that's fake news. He's wrong. He might have let that slip. That one, that instance that he might have said that by accident and that he might have made a mistake instead of saying... The game is going to come out in 2017. He might have just meant that we will get more information of the game in 2017, like Insomniac said back when PSX was happening in December of 2016. That's sorry, we're not going to be at PSX, but we, we we do have more information to share in 2017. And look where we are now. Now, April 2017, four months since PSX happened in December, no news. Or technically November when we got the PlayStation King ad, but... Nothing. All of a sudden, a few hours ago on Twitter, I was just talking to some Spidey Squad members, having a grand old time, scrolling through Twitter, reposting stuff, retweeting stuff, tweeting out cool things, and all of a sudden, I just decided to look on Agent M's Twitter page. And also, a few of you left some comments in my last video that I made talking about Insomniac, including, possibly, the Spider-Man No More storyline within Spider-Man PS4, and... Also that Bill Roseman um, indicated that, and also that Insomniac Games themselves are looking for technicians and testers for Spider-Man PS4. And all of a sudden, out of the blue, there was no build-up to this, there was no reply to this, there was no conversation talking about Spider-Man PS4, there was no tweets that Ryan Panagos was talking about to bring up this game. All of a sudden, out of nowhere... I'm going to put the link in the description, see it for yourself. Doesn't put any words, doesn't put anything, no description of whatsoever. Out of the blue, he just posts a gif of Spider-Man from Spider-Man PS4 swinging that circuit breaker at those thugs that we saw. The scene after that Spider-Man does that flip smash takedown to that one thug, he used a gif of Spider-Man swinging that circuit breaker into the group of thugs with no description, no description, no analysis, no build up to this, no anything at all. It's insane. And I understand he just might've posted that by accident. He could have just done that for whatever reason, just to troll us. 
I get it. I understand. There's so many people nowadays that think that Ryan Panagos is an idiot. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's trolling us. He's making us suffer with the lack of news, and he's just kind of waving it in our faces with nothing else for this game. No, okay? For the last time, he's the vice president and executive editor at Marvel Digital Media. Back in that December 2016 post, he put that in there on purpose, saying that Spider-Man PS4 was going to release, is going to release this year in 2017. And again, executive editor. I understand that doesn't mean literally, but he does have a big hand in regards to what goes up on Marvel Entertainment's YouTube channel. So in regards to that video back in December where he says that the game, along with Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, is going to release in 2017, and everyone's saying that that's false... Why didn't he cut that part out? Or why didn't he ask one of the other editors to simply cut that part out? Just cut that segment out where he's talking about Spider-Man PS4 and Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Because he knows both of those projects are very secretive. Even Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, we don't really have any news on that game. We still don't know who the character roster is really going to be for that game. Other than Iron Man, Captain America, uh, Captain Marvel... Uh, Morgan, Ryu, and Mega Man. Those are the only, those are six characters that we know for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, and that's it. Nothing else. And a few stages we know that could be in the game, but that's it. He could have just simply cut that part out or asked somebody to cut that segment out of the video. And they didn't. They kept it in there, left it in, and had people watch it. Now all of a sudden this comes out with no buildup, and the, the tweets after this he posted a few hours ago, after this random Spider-Man PS4 tweet was even more random. He wasn't replying to anybody when he posted this. He wasn't talking about it beforehand. He didn't even discuss it. He just randomly, out of the blue, popped up a Spider-Man PS4 GIF and posted it on his Twitter page. And again, like I was saying, the tweets that he posted afterwards were of just the Lou Ferrigno Hulk series of Hulk throwing a random sheep. Um, and also Howard the Duck from the 90s movie or 80s movie, the old Howard the Duck movie. Um, jamming out on the guitar. Who knows what any of this means? I don't understand. I'm freaking out. A lot of you other Spice Squad members, I know for a fact, are freaking out. I was talking to a few of you earlier. We were going nuts. We are still going nuts about this. We don't know what's happening. News soon? Who knows? Gameplay going to be shown off at E3? I don't know. News shown off tomorrow? Who the heck knows? This is crazy. I don't understand what the heck is going on with Ryan Panagos right now. Everything is going absurdly nuts. I think there was even an article talking about this. I'll try and find it and put it in the description. But this is insane. So I understand if I'm overanalyzing this, please forgive me. But this is something that you have to just take off the 2018 speculation glasses and look between the lines. Not literally for you guys because I love all you guys, but I am serious. you got to look at this like a hawk. You have to analyze everything, all the little tiny things from what Insomniac has said, what Brian Intahar has said, what Bill Roseman has said, what Ryan Panagos has said, what even Xavier CK and Ryan Benno, what they've said. All of these factors mean a crucial part to pinpointing exactly when we will see more of the game, when the game will release, etc. So just take this with a grain of salt, it could mean everything, it could mean nothing. Who knows? But the fact that it's still there, it's not taken off yet, it's still just there floating around his Twitter page, is really strange. And we don't know what to make of this. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. I love for you to think of what is going on with Ryan Panagos on this certain tweet. It makes no sense to me. I'm hopingly hoping, hoping, hoping that it means that we will get news either at E3 or hopefully soon. Who knows? But thank you so much for watching, everybody. Stay spectacular, Spider fans. Peace out.